When the Toronto Raptors beat the Golden State Warriors at Oracle Arena, a scuffle occurred courtside. That is the cop who claims to have been struck by the Toronto Raptors' president of basketball operations, Masai Ujiri. That is Masai Ujiri, the man with the kahunas to trade for Kawhi Leonard on a one-year deal and is being accused of striking the police officer. That is Kyle Lowry, a Raptor since 2012, pulling Ujiri onto the court. Now, the police officer, whose name is not public knowledge, is considering taking legal action, claiming serious injury. An unprovoked, significant hit to the jaw of the law enforcement officer. That is civil rights attorney David Mastagni speaking with KPIX in San Francisco. He asked Mr. Ujiri for his credentials. Uh, Mr. Ujiri refused to produce the credential. Uh, and shoved our deputy out of the way. And that is Sergeant Ray Kelly of the Alameda County Sheriff's Office. Now, here's the problem. Warrior season ticket holder Greg Wiener was standing next to the officer and told the AP the cops are lying and covering up what the officer did, saying Ujiri never struck the cop in the face or asked for a credential. Wiener said the encounter began when the deputy put his hand on Ujiri's chest and pushed him. Ujiri shoved him back before bystanders intervened. The thing about the cop saying the policeman asked for his credentials, that didn't happen. There was no conversation at all, Wiener said. This part about striking him in the face, yeah, that didn't happen. He has a serious concussion, a Templar mandibular joint injury, which is a serious jaw injury, said Mastagni. This looks like somebody trying to embellish what happened to protect what they did what the policeman did, Wiener said. It seems over the top. I still stand by the fact from what I saw, Masai two-handed shoved him into the chest. Now, recall that Alameda County Sheriff's Office. Last night, the agency's official Twitter account retweeted Richard Spencer, who is live streaming a Unite the Right news conference. It's true. They retweeted Richard freaking Spencer, a Nazi. That same Sergeant Ray Kelly claims he was trying to close the video, hit a bunch of buttons at the bottom, and one must have been the retweet button. Oh, you silly, silly white supremacist. Updated Twitter applications always requires two-step confirmation for any retweet, so a user must confirm before a retweet goes out. But it doesn't stop there. Last month, it was reported there was a massive cover-up in the police shooting of Oscar Grant, who was handcuffed when public transit cops shot him on New Year's Day in 2009. Furthermore, the department was sued in 2011 by a black driver who said he was racially profiled during a meritless traffic stop. An attorney with the San Francisco Public Defender's Office onward, the Oath Keepers, an extremist anti-government right-wing group, held a booth at the Alameda County Sheriff's Office training program to explain who they are. The Oath Keepers, who went to Ferguson to protect white businesses against black protesters, revolve around a set of baseless conspiracy theories about the federal government working to destroy the liberties of Americans. The Oath Keepers tried to protest outside Maxine Waters' office, but were shut down. In 2016, Alameda County Sheriff Gregory Ahern co-signed a letter sent to Senator Jeff Sessions supporting his nomination to lead the U.S. Department of Justice. And in 2018, the Alameda County Sheriff's Office was accused of using an anti-terrorism grant from the Trump administration to focus on black Muslim inmates returning to society. The words Muslim and violent appeared 31 times each in the sheriff's proposal. Extremism appeared 26 times and radicalization 12 times. White supremacists, by contrast, is mentioned only once. My opinion? They tried to frame Ujiri for not having a credential. He did. They're constructing a story making a black male the aggressor. Seen that one before. I shot this guy in self-defense. The office has a history of racism. They support white supremacy and despise minorities. So in conclusion, with an eyewitness and all, I'll let Samantha B close it out. The racist did racism, which was racist. I think she finally has it! If you'd like to hear more thought-provoking content like TYT Sports on Facebook and to help in my journey to keep media independent, go to tyt.com slash Rick.